Well, y'all, out of camp, and it's nice and windy. I tried to position my truck as well as I could to block the wind, because I'm about to start a fire. I'm sure you can hear the wind on the camera. Uh, but I need to get my camp stuff set up a little bit in the back there, and then we'll get a fire going. Half the reason I picked this site is because there was two big chunks of wood laying here, and the wood that I have with me is wet. But let me get the back end of the truck set up here and we'll get a fire going. Well, the truck's all set up. I got the windows cracked. Although it's windy, it's still like 50 degrees, so it's not terrible out here right now. But let's get that fire going. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I'm gonna pull that guy out for now. That's gonna burn. And there's a bunch of these little fire starter sticks laying around here. But I do have my own fire starters. It's going to take a little bit to get this going. And they're all over. Fire is going back there, guys. I'm gonna get that thing blazing. Since I've got the wood, I might as well.
So I picked this up from my local grocery store. I've never seen this before. I've had Blue Moon, but I've never had this Moon Haze. So it says Hazy Juicy Pale Ale, brewed with dried whole oranges, 5% ABV. Ale brewed with dried whole oranges, contains wheat. And that's really all it says on there. But uh, Blue Moon is out of Golden, Colorado. So fire's going decent down there. I like oranges. Just got a big mouthful of smoke. You can definitely taste the orange peel in that. God, I've had a beer that's tasted like this before. I can't remember what that was. I mean, they usually serve Blue Moon with an orange slice in it, don't they? I think I might be right on that. Well, let's keep feeding wood to these flames here. And then we'll get dinner going. Maybe before the sun goes down. So I know somebody's probably gonna freak out about me making a fire in the wind, but it's supposed to die down shortly, although not terribly much. It's about 20 mile an hour right now. I think it's supposed to die down to like 10 to 15, but there's also rain in the forecast for tonight. And we got a lot of rain while I was up in uh, Wisconsin. I think they said like five inches locally and everything is soaking wet. So I'm not terribly worried about starting a fire around here or anything like that and I need a fire to cook my dinner so cheers guys the beer is pretty tasty I've never seen it before so if you find it give it a shot Well, I think it's about time I get my gourmet dinner ready for the evening. So, we've got some hot dog buns, and we're gonna keep it real simple tonight and just roast some weenies. Good old campfire meal. We've got some ballpark beef franks, and then I also have some pizza Pringles. And on these franks, we're gonna use this buffer ranch. So I guess it's buffalo sauce and ranch. My wife bought this, I have not tried it yet. Um, and if I get hungry later, I do have a salad with me. So I might eat that, I don't know. I kind of intended to eat that as my side and then I grabbed chips and I like chips. So, get these thrown on the fire. I do have my poker with me. Uh, I usually don't use the grill unless I have to. Especially for weenies. Oh, yeah.
I feel like all hot dogs should come in resealable packages. But I do have plastic bags with me so I can put these away nicely. I'll just do one at a time. I feel like the wind's already died down just a little bit. Toss a bun on there and try to toast her up a little bit. I feel like I need to grab a coat. That wind is chilly. I should be able to make it though. That beer almost goes down too smooth. Crispy, a little bit crispy for sure, but burnt parts are fine. Well, let's see what this is about. Hopefully, it doesn't ruin my dog. bit tangy. It's not really hot like buffalo, like buffalo chicken wings or anything. It's not too spicy. It's good. Sometimes it's really nice to not have any kind of mess to clean up. No dirty dishes. Pizza Pringles are good. Let's make another weenie. See if we can do a bit of a slower roast on this one. Well, the way our weather's going, I don't think snow is too far away.
part. I crispified that one pretty good too. Well, our gourmet ground up parts of whatever hot dogs are pretty good. I'm going to enjoy these, finish my beer, and let the fire die down. I don't think I'm going to use those other two pieces of wood, but so I'll see you guys when we get in the truck. All right, it's getting cold. I guess as cold as you can say it is for 57 degrees with the wind, it's pretty chilly out there. I shouldn't need too much of this bag tonight. Um, I forgot to bring pajama pants, but I am wearing like thick socks and I've got some, I've got a base layer on. So I'll probably still ditch the pants at some point this evening. Get my pockets emptied out. Man, it's not bad in here at all. Got the got all three windows cracked. Put my stocking cap on a little warmer. Put my head up. Hopefully that's not in your way, nope. Yeah, it's a nice night even if it is windy. <clears throat> when the seasons change like this, it's when you really have to deal with this kind of stuff. But we need to crack another beer and uh, get ourselves a movie going. Once again, it's getting so close to Halloween here that I downloaded a few, I guess you would call them horror movies. There's a new Netflix one that I downloaded. I think it's like Vampires or something. I'll have to tell you guys what the name of it is if I can. Man, my nose is running a little bit. What do I do with my koozie? Here it is. Shout out to the homie old Greg. It's from his wedding. What time is it? 7.49. It's already pitch dark out. I think. Is daylight savings this weekend? It's coming up fast. It might be this weekend. Okay, what's the movie called? It's called Night Teeth. I don't think I can get a description off of here, of course. Nope. Okay, so Night Teeth. It's, it's a new release on Netflix. It's about a college student moonlighting as a chauffeur, and he picks up two mysterious women for a night of party hopping across LA. However, when he uncovers their bloodthirsty intentions and their dangerous shadowy underworld, he must fight to stay alive. And it was released on October 20th uh, of this year, so it's out. Really recent movie. We're gonna hang out and watch this one. Enjoy another brewski. It's only 7.51, I guess 8 o'clock. And we're gonna hang out for the evening. I'm pretty sure it's a vampire movie. It's gotta be a vampire movie. Alright, 
Let's get to relaxing. Let's get to enjoying. This is how you enjoy a cold evening at camp. Cuddled up in your camper. So we with a cold beer. And a nice movie going. And I'll probably have to restart this because I'm losing all of I'm not listening at all. Let's go ahead and get ourselves comfortable. Alright, I gotta ditch these pants. Can't believe I forgot pants. I don't think I have any under here. Maybe not. Did not pack any. Well, at the bare minimum, I'm glad I have my heavy sleeping bag tonight, I guess, since I don't have any way to plug in. You guys want to see me in my... These are like... I don't know, what do you call these? <laughs> my styling and profiling. My super thick socks. Leggings. I'm basically chilling in leggings, I guess. I've got the same thing on for a shirt as these things. And then a t-shirt and a hoodie. Uh, I usually always, when it starts getting this cold and I'm going to be out in it, uh, I'll usually always run a base layer. And then, you know, my shirt and my pants. And then a hoodie over it. It helps a ton. If it's not something that you do. It helps a lot. You don't have to get fancy with it. We've got all sorts of different thermal pants and shirts. These are just the thinnest. And I don't even know if they're really meant for cold weather, but it helps to have a base layer on. So, all right. Now let's get this movie going. Alright, God, this thing is so cozy. <laughs> All right, I gotta restart the movie. We lived in secret. Probably gonna be a little warm actually in here tonight with this thing. But that just means I can leave the windows open and get some good airflow through here. We're all around you. Living right under your noses. And you have no idea. Things are a lot simpler in the old days. Y'all want to rug? I love it, I'm never leaving. No hands are breathing. Nobody had the faith in me. My family believed it. And I feel like my body always ain't no complaint. Well, y'all, that was a weird movie. I don't know if I'd recommend that or not. But I'm going to crash out. I close the side windows. It's really windy. The temperature ain't bad, but uh, it's supposed to rain in the middle of the night. We're in the morning, I guess you could say. This window usually doesn't get any rain in it, so I'm going to leave that open. But I'm going to crash out. Uh, yeah. I don't know if I'd recommend that movie or not. It was, I mean, it wasn't bad, it wasn't great. Mm -hmm. Kind of a meh movie. But I will see you guys in the morning. I'm get my light shut off here. Remember the buttons. Well, good morning. It's raining. a lot longer oh. I had to wake up in the middle of the night and take my socks and my hoodie off I was so warm uh, sleeping bag is a bit overkill for this e for 50 degree overnights. Oh man. It was a great night though. The lens is a little bit foggy. Woke up at like four. Like with my took that stuff off. 
and that's when it was there was some thunder and lightning let's make some coffee let me cover that hair up little boy there we go oh, I remember my coffee mug Turn the lights on, anyways. Holy buckets! That's a little better. cold. See if I can get this thing going this time. Just a little about this thing. Put her on there with the plastic on. I want to be able to see this thing get warm. I wasn't paying attention to this last time. See the little thing change color, I guess. have some Starbucks instant left. We've also got a bunch of these folders bags left. We'll just go with the Starbucks because it's the easiest. We need two of them. Ooh, 
there it goes, it's starting to change color. You guys can't see that. There you go. It was all black, it's starting to change color. It should be ready. I'm gonna go ahead and call that ready, honestly. Just so it's not overly hot. That thing does boil water very fast. Bam, we got a cup of coffee. It's gonna be warm for a long time. It's the only downside, I don't know why I bought another metal cup. They just keep, keep the stuff hot forever, which is almost annoying, because it takes forever to be able to drink it. Now let's give that a second to cool off. My box is messy. My box is messy. Stop fogging up, camera. Dang. We're gonna have to deal with that every every time now when it's cold. Okay. Well, coffee is made. I should probably change my clothes Ooh. it cools off pretty quickly Man. Yeah, this is really convenient. It works really well. Very nice. I like. <coughs> Should just store, store this other one in here instead of having it float around in the drawer. Might as well put it in there, right? What the hell? Why don't you go in your home where you're supposed to get in there? Ziploc bag box in my way. Alright. That's better. Well, it's time to go. I pushed my sleeping bag up. If you can tell, I'm sitting right on the that just so when I open this up it doesn't get it all wet. 
Let's try to do this quickly. Coffee in hand. And there's pooled. Yep, it's dripping in. I gotta just do this, I can't look around. Man, it must have rained a lot last night. Water's pooled up. I mean, look at that, by the fire pit. Like a pond. It must have rained a lot. Okay, now that I've got the camera all wet, junk everywhere, and I spilled knocking my coffee over for the second time. Just need to get in. Okay. All right. It's cold and wet. I didn't fold my stupid chair up last night and it's sitting in the passenger seat. Genius. Like genius. Jeez. Yeah, it rained a lot. There's standing water everywhere. I'm surprised. But it means I'm the only person here. Let's try to get this lens wiped off a little bit. Well, I don't know how much better that actually is, but it could be worse. Well, it was a good night of camping. And a simple supper and whatnot. But we definitely caught the rain on this one. It's 8.48 in the morning, and it is 54 degrees. So, yeah, it was a little warm back there last night with all the my heavy, heavy sleeping bag. But, like, today... Low is going to be about the same, low 46. So I could probably take that bag back out for a couple days. We'll see. See what I do for the next one. All right. I think we better get ourselves up, up on out of here. Grab you so you don't fall off the dashboard. And. up in a, a muddy puddle. I left my lights on back there. Yeah, they're going to stay on for right now. I'm going to turn on my defrost. Oh! Oh! Well, y'all, get out of here. I think I'm going to give the homie Kelvin a call because he's usually off work when it's raining like this. See what he wants to do today if he's free. And uh, I'm going to go from there. But I hope you guys enjoyed the little simple camping adventure last night. Uh, good old hot dog. Ain't too bad every once in a while. If you know what I'm saying. So, yeah. Look at that pretty red tree right there and that one too oh dang there's like those are really the only ones right here that have turned but yeah I don't know if you guys you're not gonna be able to see it like look at that standing water on the road like, it rained a lot last night But anyways, y'all, I'm gonna close this one out. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Why does this always feel like it's so zoomed in? I need a wider lens camera. I don't know. I'm talking to myself. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and close the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next adventure. I'll see you in a bit.